The Legacy of Marcus Aurelius, Emperor, Philosopher, and Statesman of Ancient Rome. Exploring the life and accomplishments of Marcus Aurelius, whose leadership, philosophical insights, and enduring legacy shaped the fate of an empire and influenced the course of human history. Many notable events happened in 121 AD. The Roman Empire, under the reign of Emperor Hadrian, was experiencing relative stability and economic prosperity, marked by extensive construction projects, including the building of Hadrian's Wall in Britain. In China, the Han Dynasty, led by Emperor An, was facing challenges from regional warlords, leading to increased political instability and military conflicts. The Parthian Empire, situated in present-day Iran and Iraq, was engaged in intermittent hostilities with the Roman Empire, particularly along the eastern borders of the Roman territories. But on April 26, 121 AD when Marcus Aurelius was born, nobody knew that he would eventually be Emperor of Rome. The story of how he became Emperor, what he accomplished, and how he came to influence the thoughts of humanity for millennia is a fascinating one. Marcus Aurelius was born in Rome to a prominent family. His full name was Marcus Aurelius Antoninus, and he was originally named Marcus Annius Verus. His family had connections to the ruling Nerva Antonine dynasty, and his father, Marcus Annius Verus, was a consul. Marcus Aurelius's intellectual potential was recognized at an early age, as he received a comprehensive education that included training in oratory, philosophy, and literature. His exposure to Stoic philosophy under the tutelage of prominent teachers such as Junius Rusticus and Apollonius of Chalcedon played a significant role in shaping his philosophical outlook and moral principles. This early cultivation of his intellectual abilities and ethical understanding laid the groundwork for his later philosophical works and his renowned ethical teachings, demonstrating the early acknowledgement of his intellectual promise and philosophical inclination. In Marcus's youth, the Roman Empire, under the rule of Emperor Hadrian, was experiencing a period of relative stability and prosperity, marked by the construction of various architectural marvels, including Hadrian's Wall in Britain and the completion of the Pantheon in Rome. The Parthian Empire, situated in present-day Iran and Iraq, was engaged in intermittent conflicts with the Roman Empire, influencing the geopolitical dynamics of the Middle East. Emperor Hadrian selected Marcus Aurelius as his successor, designating him to be the next emperor of Rome, around 136 AD. The specific reasons behind Hadrian's decision are not explicitly documented, but it is believed that Hadrian recognized Marcus Aurelius's exceptional intellect, moral character, and leadership potential at a relatively early age. Moreover, Marcus Aurelius's connection to the Antonine family through his biological father likely contributed to Hadrian's decision, as it helped solidify the continuity of the Antonine dynasty and ensured a stable succession process within the Roman Empire. However, Antoninus Pius became Emperor of Rome through a unique sequence of events. He was not originally in the line of succession but was adopted by the Roman Emperor Hadrian, who designated him as his successor on the condition that he, in turn, adopt Marcus Aurelius and Lucius Verus. This adoption and subsequent succession were critical in ensuring a stable transition of power and maintaining the political and social equilibrium within the Roman Empire. Antoninus Pius assumed the throne upon Hadrian's death in 138 AD, marking the beginning of his distinguished reign as one of the so-called Five Good Emperors of Rome. Marcus Aurelius was adopted by the Roman Emperor Antoninus Pius in 138 AD at the age of 17. This adoption was a crucial moment in his life as it eventually paved the way for his succession to the Roman Empire. Under the guidance of Antoninus Pius, Marcus Aurelius received extensive training in statesmanship and governance, preparing him for his future role as a leader of the Roman Empire. This strategic decision was pivotal in securing a stable succession process and contributing to the continuity of the empire's governance under a capable and well-prepared leader. At the age of 24, Marcus Aurelius was married to Faustina the Younger, 
who held the title of Augusta as the Roman Empress, in 145 AD. Faustina the Younger was the daughter of Antoninus Pius, the Roman Emperor who adopted Marcus Aurelius as his heir. Their marriage was notable in Roman history, and Faustina the Younger was recognized for her significant influence on her husband's rule and her contributions to various charitable and cultural endeavors during her time as Empress. Marcus Aurelius had thirteen children, but not all of them survived into adulthood. His children included several sons and daughters, with Commodus being the most well-known, as he succeeded his father as the Roman Emperor. Between 136 and 161 AD, Marcus Aurelius was actively involved in various administrative and military responsibilities, preparing for his eventual ascension to the Roman imperial throne. During this period, he served in several official capacities, including as a consul in 140 AD and 145 AD, gaining valuable experience in governance and diplomacy. He also played a significant role in managing the affairs of the Roman Empire alongside his adoptive father, Emperor Antoninus Pius, contributing to the formulation of key policies and the implementation of administrative reforms aimed at ensuring the stability and prosperity of the empire. Marcus Aurelius and Lucius Verus had a complex relationship marked by their shared adoption by Emperor Antoninus Pius and their joint ascension to the Roman imperial throne after the death of Antoninus Pius in 161 AD. Lucius Verus, as the co-emperor alongside Marcus Aurelius, played a crucial role in the governance and administration of the Roman Empire, particularly during their joint reign from 161 AD until Lucius Verus's death in 169 AD. Despite occasional tensions and differences, Marcus Aurelius maintained a collaborative and cooperative association with Lucius Verus, reflecting their joint commitment to the welfare and stability of the Roman Empire. Their partnership was essential in managing the challenges posed by external military threats, including the campaigns against the Parthian Empire and the subsequent conflicts along the Danube frontier during the Marcomannic Wars. While Lucius Verus was known for his military prowess and leadership, Marcus Aurelius contributed his philosophical insights and administrative acumen, ensuring a balance of military and political strategies to uphold the integrity and security of the Roman Empire. Their joint reign exemplified a collaborative approach to governance, reflecting their shared responsibilities and dedication to the welfare of the Roman state. During his reign as Roman Emperor, Marcus and Lucius managed several significant military conflicts and campaigns, including Marcomannic Wars, a series of conflicts between the Roman Empire and various Germanic tribes, notably the Marcomanni and the Quadi, along the Danube frontier, which demanded substantial military resources and strategic planning to repel the invasions and safeguard the borders. Wars against the Sarmatians Marcus Aurelius also contended with military engagements against the Sarmatian tribes, who posed a threat to the Roman territories in the region of modern-day Hungary and Romania, requiring the deployment of Roman forces to confront the Sarmatian incursions. Expeditions in the East he undertook military campaigns in the eastern regions of the Roman Empire, addressing conflicts and maintaining stability in provinces such as Syria and Armenia, where Roman forces were deployed to manage local insurrections and ensure the preservation of Roman territorial influence. Defensive campaigns in northern frontier Marcus Aurelius focused on bolstering the defenses along the northern frontiers of the Roman Empire, addressing potential threats from various Germanic and Celtic tribes that sought to challenge Roman authority and territorial control, necessitating the deployment of Roman legions to maintain frontier security. His strategic management of these military conflicts showcased his commitment to preserving the integrity of the Roman Empire and maintaining its territorial boundaries, solidifying his reputation as a capable military leader and statesman. Marcus Aurelius implemented several key military reforms during his reign as the Roman Emperor. Some of these reforms included Strengthening the Roman legions, he focused on improving the training and discipline of the Roman legions, enhancing their effectiveness and combat readiness. Border defense, 
Marcus Aurelius bolstered the fortification of the Roman borders, particularly along the Danube and Rhine frontiers, to better defend against invasions by various Germanic tribes and other external threats. Strategic reorganization He restructured the Roman army's command structure, introducing a more efficient and centralized system to streamline military operations and coordination. Tactical innovations Marcus Aurelius introduced tactical innovations and new military strategies, incorporating elements of flexibility and adaptability to respond effectively to evolving battlefield challenges. Recruitment reforms He initiated reforms to improve the recruitment process, ensuring the enlistment of qualified and capable soldiers, thereby strengthening the overall quality and competence of the Roman military forces. Marcus Aurelius enacted several legal reforms during his rule as the Roman Emperor, aiming to promote fairness and justice within the Roman legal system. Some of his notable legal reforms included Emphasis on equity He emphasized the principle of equity in legal proceedings, advocating for impartiality and fairness in the administration of justice, regardless of social status or wealth. Protection of Rights Marcus Aurelius implemented measures to protect the rights of individuals, including safeguards against wrongful imprisonment, arbitrary taxation, and unjust confiscation of property. Legal codification He contributed to the development of legal codification, helping to systematize and organize existing laws and legal precedents, thus facilitating a more coherent and accessible legal framework for the Roman citizens. Improvement of judicial process. He sought to improve the efficiency and transparency of the judicial process, encouraging the use of evidence-based decision-making and ensuring that legal judgments were based on just and reasoned principles. Civil law reforms. Marcus Aurelius instituted reforms to strengthen civil laws, addressing issues related to contracts, property rights, and family law thereby contributing to the stability and integrity of the Roman legal system. Marcus Aurelius supported the arts and intellectual endeavors during his reign as the Roman Emperor, contributing to the cultural flourishing of the Roman Empire. Some of the ways in which he supported these endeavors included Patronage of philosophers he provided patronage and support to various philosophers and intellectuals, fostering an environment conducive to philosophical discourse and intellectual exploration. Promotion of education Marcus Aurelius encouraged the development of educational institutions and the advancement of learning, emphasizing the importance of education in nurturing a knowledgeable and informed citizenry. Cultural endowments He offered financial endowments and grants to artists, writers, and scholars, facilitating the creation and dissemination of artistic and intellectual works that enriched Roman cultural heritage. Architectural Projects He sponsored and initiated various architectural projects, contributing to the construction of public buildings, temples, and monuments that added to the architectural grandeur of the Roman Empire. Marcus Aurelius took several measures to promote civic welfare and improve the well-being of the Roman citizens during his reign as the Roman Emperor. Some of his notable initiatives included Public infrastructure development. He invested in the construction and maintenance of public infrastructure, including roads, bridges, and aqueducts, facilitating improved connectivity and accessibility across the Roman Empire. Some of the notable infrastructure projects associated with his reign include the repair and restoration of the Via Appia, a strategic Roman road connecting Rome to southern Italy, as well as the completion of the Antonine Wall in Scotland, which served as a defensive fortification in the northern territories of the empire. Public health measures Marcus Aurelius implemented public health measures, including the establishment of hospitals and medical facilities, to provide healthcare services and address public health challenges prevalent during that era. Welfare programs He instituted welfare programs to provide assistance to the underprivileged and vulnerable segments of society, offering support for the poor, orphans, and those in need, demonstrating his commitment to social justice and compassion. Agricultural reforms 
Marcus Aurelius introduced agricultural reforms to enhance food security and agricultural productivity, ensuring the availability of essential food supplies for the Roman population and mitigating the impact of potential famines or food shortages. Urban planning He prioritized urban planning and development, focusing on the enhancement of city layouts and the creation of public spaces, parks, and recreational areas, contributing to the overall well-being and quality of life for the residents of Roman cities. Marcus Aurelius was generally regarded as a wise and just ruler by the citizens of Rome. His commitment to upholding ethical values, promoting civic welfare, and ensuring the stability of the empire earned him respect and admiration among the people. His emphasis on philosophical introspection and moral principles, as evidenced in his work, Meditations, further solidified his reputation as a thoughtful and compassionate leader. Despite facing significant military challenges and internal political tensions during his reign, Marcus Aurelius's enduring legacy as a benevolent and enlightened emperor remained intact in the eyes of the Roman citizens. Marcus Aurelius wrote Meditations primarily between 170 and 180 AD, during the latter part of his reign as the Roman emperor and at the end of his life. The work was intended as a personal journal, reflecting his innermost thoughts, ethical reflections, and philosophical musings. Composed in the form of a series of notes and aphorisms, meditations served as a practical guide for self-improvement and moral introspection, offering insights into Stoic philosophy and ethical principles that guided his life and governance. Marcus Aurelius utilized this introspective exercise to navigate the challenges of ruling an empire, providing himself with a source of solace and guidance during times of personal contemplation and turbulent political circumstances. Unfortunately, following the death of Marcus Aurelius in 180 AD, his son Commodus succeeded him as the Roman emperor. Commodus, known for his erratic and despotic rule, marked a stark contrast to his father's principled and stoic leadership. During his reign, the Roman Empire faced internal turmoil, characterized by political corruption, economic instability, and social unrest. Commodus's reign was marked by his extravagant and self-indulgent lifestyle, leading to a decline in the moral and political integrity of the Roman Empire. The succession of Commodus signaled the end of the so-called Pax Romana, Roman peace, an era characterized by relative stability and prosperity within the Roman Empire. Commodus's reign, marred by political intrigue and a lack of effective governance, laid the groundwork for a period of upheaval and transition within the empire, setting the stage for the eventual decline and fragmentation of the Roman state in the centuries that followed. Marcus Aurelius's writings in Meditations are the self-reflections of a gifted intellectual who had the benefit of years of education and mentorship in scholastics, philosophy, politics, military strategy, and leadership. It was written at the end of an exceptional political career and at the peak of his experience, knowledge, and wisdom. It is no wonder why his writings in Meditations have been so influential over the last 1,800 years.